Welcome to the Event Santa Cruz radio show on KSQD Santa Cruz 90.7. Thanks for tuning in. So I am with Claire Gologli, Joanna Edmonds. Okay, thank you so much for being on the show. So you are from the city of Santa Cruz. Is it like the the transportation department? We're from Public Works, but we're from Public the transportation Works. group within Public Works. Okay, so what do you actually do? What do we do? So specific to our Go Santa Cruz program, which was the thing that we're really excited to talk about, we provide all the tools necessary to help downtown employees choose to drive less. And that involves transit passes, jump bike discounts, bike locker incentives, carpool cash, and then prizes to downtown businesses for actually logging your trips and showing that you're choosing another mode. Cool. So you you two are like single-handedly responsible for jump bike coming here. Yeah. <laughs> that is cool. <laughs> I mean, do you, honestly, I'm like, when you think about that, you're like, you're walking around downtown or you're on your jump bike and you see all these jump bikes and people walking around. That must have like a nice sense of pride that like hey I was part of that so we're coming up on our two-year anniversary of okay. jump having launched May will that be our two-year anniversary seems like it just happened we've <laughs> surpassed well over um, a million miles well over I think we're at about 650,000 trips that have been taken in that time period oh my goodness we are the smallest system that jump operates within and they but one of the most successful one right? of the most oh, successful yeah. our bikes get used on average 4.8 times per day right now which is huge. Most bike share systems see one to two trips per day. That's and so, crazy. yeah, we're the, we're the little system that could. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did you, I think I heard somebody, there's only like one other town that's actually doing like even you know, more than us, right? San Francisco sees San Francisco. Okay. utilization rates higher than we do, but they also have, you know, a million or so people yeah. to our 60,000. To our small little big town. To our small little big town that <laughs> yeah. has the second highest rate of bike commuting in the United States of America. That is really cool. Is there something else that's going to happen with Jump Bike? Is it going to expand in other area, parts of the county? Or? Ooh, super helpful. So mm -hmm. there are discussions underway right now with UCSC, the county, and Capitola. Ooh. So we're really hoping that we can have yeah, I'm seeing some excitement here. Yeah. <laughs> We're really hoping that we can have a unified system that helps. I hear from people in Live Oak all the time that say, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I would love to use jump bikes to get downtown mm -hmm. to get to work, but I have to park my bike yeah. as far, you know, in the city, on the very edge of the city, and then walk another mile, and it's just not an option for me. And if it went just a little bit further, just a little bit further, just a little bit further, yeah. I could choose to ditch a car one or two or three days a week. That would be really cool. Okay, so I want to ask why you two... Like, what were you drawn to this department? I mean, you're very, you know, smart people. You can have probably other options. <laughs> why, why this department? Do you want to uh, first? start with Joanne? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, well, I've worked in transportation for about 12 years now, and mm -hmm. um, I worked at the university. I've worked in at the RTC, and so working in the city was just another step in my career. And I've always looked up to Claire. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she's she's tall. just a go-getter. <laughs> yeah, and she's taller than me. <laughs> um, and also just the city of Santa Cruz has so much going for it. I love the community and we're doing such a great job with transportation. The people who live here are just really enthusiastic about trying to do the best thing for the environment. So that those are some of the reasons. Plus, like Claire said, we're number two in the nation for bike commuting. We really are a leader as far as alternative transportation. So it's an awesome place to be. Cool, what about you, Claire? I'm a huge nerd. <laughs> I'm, a, um, I'm a math and science nerd. I love solving problems and systems. And okay. when I first went to college, I started out in civil engineering thinking that I wanted to build things. And I pretty quickly realized that I wasn't so much interested in a single project. I was way more interested in how you make an overall system work a lot better. Okay. And so looking at transportation systems as a whole, I first, right when I graduated from college, I started working for Santa Cruz Metro in transit system oh. planning. Okay. And then uh, I was in grad school while I was doing that, focusing on bike and pedestrian more than anything else. And an opportunity at the city came up and they hadn't had a transportation planner in over a decade. So it was really an opportunity to jump over and create an opportunity that was really, really focused on creating environments within the city that people can get around that are human scaled, that really are oriented towards being able to move without a car, not being anti-car, but offering an alternative that we really hadn't offered in a long time. And it really played into my desire to think about not just specific projects, but overall systems as a whole and how we can integrate them and make them work better for everyone. So what are like the the challenges that we have in Santa Cruz and you know like I guess what is your challenge like when when you like wake up in the morning you're like okay how what am I going to fix here in Santa Cruz what is that that's a 
tough question. Huh? That's a great <laughs> question. I, I think the first thing that would come to mind for most people if they think about waking up in Santa Cruz and how they're going to get around their day, oftentimes you hear traffic is the first problem. That's not my first problem. Yeah. Traffic is traffic is there. My question is, how do you give people alternatives to, tra mm -hmm. to traffic? And how do you give them other options that are real for them? Not just saying, I'm going to offer you something, but it's not a real solution for you. So, um, you know, the problem that I try to fix every day is how do you provide options and sure. how do you meet people where they are? So Go Santa Cruz is one of those options, isn't it? Go Santa Cruz is a great option. It's okay. a great program. So let's talk about, let's talk about first, what is Go Santa Cruz and then how did it start? Okay, so Go Santa Cruz is a program for all employees in downtown Santa Cruz. That's about 4,000 plus or minus employees. It is a program that offers alternatives to driving. And so from that, we wanted, we recognize that in downtown, you have to pay for parking. And about 50% of our employees downtown work in retail or restaurant, which are oftentimes lower wage workers, and paying for parking can take a hit. It's like sixty dollars, uh, I think, a month for the parking. It's Fifty-five dollars like a month okay, yeah. if you can get a permit. But we yeah. have about a year-long wait list in order to get a parking permit. Yeah. And most days, our parking lots and garages are hitting capacity. Mm -hmm. So not only did we have an issue with people wanting a more affordable way to get to work, but we also had an issue with people who, if money wasn't a problem, just capacity was. Once mm -hmm. they got to work, there wasn't a place for them to actually park. Yeah. And so looking at a cohesive strategy for our downtown that looked at what is our parking supply and demand, how do we accommodate that and look to the future, and at the same time, how do we offer transportation options? We were able to uh, do a two-step increase to parking prices, where you saw it probably increased a quarter and then another quarter okay. year over year. And part of that increase, and we also increased the price of monthly parking permits to bring them more on par with the mm -hmm. cost of monthly transit pass. Uh, part of that increase went to fund our Go Santa Cruz program. And so what that does is every employee in downtown is eligible for a free and unlimited transit pass. So you can request that on our website. We will come hand deliver it to you and you can wow. take as you, you too hand deliver. It? Yeah, mostly Joanna does 99.9% .9 of the hand deliveries. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, and answer any questions, talk about how do you use it? How do you use the bus? Where does the bus go? When does, like, how do you get on it? All of those yeah. functional questions that we know are barriers to entry. Um, we also offer discounts on jump bikes. So we know jump bikes, hugely popular. And so if you're a downtown employee, we will give you $2 off per trip for 60 trips in 90 day periods. Cool. So that's pretty much your commute right there. Yeah. And you can re-request that when you run out of days. Um, if you want to take your own bike, we know that we have a bunch of bike nerds here and we have a big bike culture and we also have a lot of really expensive bikes yeah. and a problem with bike theft. We will give you a um, card preloaded with $20 that you can use at our about 100 downtown bike lockers. Oh, cool. They cost five cents an hour, so that 20 bucks will last you mm -hmm. a very long time. That's all? It's five cents an hour? It's the most affordable way <laughs> oh <my goodness>. to, <laughs> to park, and they're, they're very, very secure. Yeah. They're located throughout downtown, so there will be one near where yeah. you're going or where you work. Um, we have an online platform where you can log your trips, and if you log 10 carpool trips, okay. we'll give you 10 bucks. And if you log 25 alternative trips of any type, we'll give you 10 bucks. And the cool thing about this is because we raised pricing on parking mm -hmm. in the downtown, all of our prizes are either in downtown dollars, which can only be used at downtown businesses, yeah, cool. or are purchased from downtown businesses because we really wanted to recognize that connection between raising pricing, which can oftentimes be very um, a tender subject for a lot of downtown businesses in the, in the retail environment we have right now, but we also wanted to make sure that we were keeping that money in downtown. So we uh, did this great thing with the Downtown Association where they made us our own downtown dollars. That's cool. So they're branded with Go Santa Cruz. So when people are bringing them into downtown businesses to exchange them, those businesses know, oh, these are other employees in downtown who are now coming into my business and shopping here with that, keeping that money in the downtown ecosystem. What a great idea. Yeah, it's pretty neat. So what is is there any like plans for go santa cruz to do anything different than what it's doing now is it like going to expand or yeah hopefully so we are five months into our pilot year we officially launched october 1st okay. um since that time we just yesterday we hit a thousand participants so we have about 25% of all downtown amazing. employees <laughs> participating. Any program, you got 25%. It's huge. That is it's huge, yeah. especially like getting people to choose something other than driving. 
It's that mm-hmm. sign on the written house. I think that's what it it's is. It's brand yeah. new. <laughs> I just saw that. I was like walking yeah. on the church looking at your phone and I looked at it like, oh wow, go Santa Cruz. Giant it. sign. Yeah. It's like me and a half and I'm tall. <laughs> exactly. um, There's and three of me then. Yes. <laughs> So we are about five months into the program. We have 25% saturation of downtown employees. We obviously want to grow that and we also want to reach out again. We'll do in April our third round of an annual downtown employee commute survey and ask again, are we meeting your needs? Or is there something that we're not doing that, that we could do better? And one of the things that I think will come out of that that we've heard a lot from is jump bikes are great. I love jump bikes and it made me realize that I want to get an e-bike. And so hopefully figuring out how to do some partnership with local bike shops with potentially a rebate for purchase of your own bike. And that meets a lot of the needs that we've heard from some people like the need to pick up kids or carry supplies or go grocery shopping. And so lots of the e-bikes have great cargo capacity and it just makes it a less sweaty experience when you're doing all those Mm -hmm. extra errands, not just Mm -hmm. going to and from work. So There's even like local bikes that I mean, are even manufactured yeah. bikes. Like is mm-hmm. Eblix? I think. Uh, Blix. E- Blix. Yeah, yeah Blix is, is on yeah. the west side. Yeah. yeah, so they're over there. Um, and then we also have a, a lot of great local bike shops have partnerships okay, that yeah. that they carry e-bikes and. We actually were really excited. The next three Mondays in a row, we're going to be hosting e-bike specific events at the Civic Auditorium from oh, cool. 12 to 1.30, okay. uh, where there's going to be an education component at the beginning. Ecology Action is going to talk about kind of e-bikes the same but different, what okay. does make them different. People have a lot of questions. Mm-hmm. And then from 12.30 to 1.30, we're going to have current e-bikes and spokesmen out doing test rides cool. and answering questions. Nice. And what is that again? Uh, the next three Mondays in a row, okay. the 9th, 16th, and 23rd, from 12 to 1.30 at the Civic Auditorium. Cool. And if you go to our website, citysantacruz.com slash go Santa Cruz, okay. you can get information on how to register. If you register and stay for the education component at the beginning, we'll give you a light and a helmet. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. And okay. free lunch. And free lunch. And free lunch. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Can't go wrong. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I was thinking if... I and mean, one thing you said, it's a pilot program that's only been going on for five months. Yeah. Right? So in five months, you got 25%, you know, to, you know, filled already for, and one of the reasons why I originally, you know, asked you to be on the show is because Go Santa Cruz was nominated and then actually won um, Nexty's Wild Card Award. Which is crazy because that shows how much it's, you've resonated. The program pretty wild. Yeah, pretty yep. wild. Yeah. <laughs> well, the 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 Annexies, of course, you know, gives awards to people that are doers and creators and inspirers in our community. But uh, the wild card is for some that doesn't actually fit with Entrepreneur of the Year, Band of the Year. It's like different. This We're not a, a band. This is a program. A <laughs> yep. program is never actually one. It's always like a company or a person or something. Mm-hmm. But a program. So that's definitely mm-hmm. first. But it shows. The impact it's had on the community because the nominations were ridiculously off the wall of how many people nominated, you know, um, Go Santa Cruz. So um, it's definitely been an impact on our community. So good job, you yeah. two. Thanks. Thanks. I think probably part of that is that we've had a pretty unique opportunity through this mm-hmm. to partner with not only local organizations. So we do a lot of work with Ecology Action, with Jump, and with local bike shops, yeah. but also. Growing out, we're providing a real benefit to a ton of not only people, but downtown businesses who have yeah. invited us into their lunch and learns and staff meetings and offered to put out information because they recognize that mm-hmm. this is a problem that their employees are facing. This is a problem that their clients are facing. And this is an area that we can meet a tangible need in a way that they just have to say yes to participation. And sure. we can provide the rest. Yeah. It's funny because when, I, when you think of like a government program, a city program, you don't think of cool and fun and like really, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but we're cool and but fun. you are, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and you're making an impact. So you've done something right, so thank you very much. So if you want to find out more about Go Santa Cruz, where do they go? You can go to www.cityofsantacruz.com slash go Santa Cruz. Okay. You can also email us with questions at uh, go Santa Cruz at cityofsantacruz.com. Awesome. And um, we'll have this video up and the links will be under the video. So if you missed that, don't worry. Just go to eventsantacruz.com and um, you can see, you know, we want to get up to the the 50%. 
So yeah, yeah. That'd be great. So if you're already at you know five months, ten months, we'll be at fifty and. In yeah. hopefully no time. You know, our stretch goal for the first year was to hit a thousand, and okay. we cracked that five, five months in. Yeah. So we're trying to figure out what our next goal is that we want to hit, and uh, the ways that we can increase to provide increase providing a great service for downtown employees. Great. Okay. Well, thank you so much for being on the show. Look forward to seeing you two at the next E's March the twentieth. Um, wild card winners. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Well, we're gonna take a little break. Coming up next.